It must have fucked you up. Is it like the movies? But you're a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Have you killed anyone? No. Not everyone's at the pointy end. And I think that's a bit of a psychopathic thing to ask, to be honest. You know you see people's eyes and they want to be told they yes. They light up. So I've been asked this question normally in a bar. Or do they want you to say, yeah, 3,000 mate? Like, it's just normally preceded by, oh, you're in the military, that's so cool, dot, dot, dot. When any kind of subject like that actually comes to, you know, like we speak about it, the guys are like nearly in tears. I actually asked that question to someone before I was in the military. It might trigger off a lot of bad memories for people. You never know what people have gone through. Yeah. It, it makes sense though that we're the ones that get asked that question a lot more because, I mean, we, we bear firearms. You That's wouldn't exactly. go up to an armed police officer and say, how many people have you, you know, popped off this weekend, yeah. mate? You must be a control freak. It mm. definitely brings out your impatient side. Try and put tights on in one minute flat. Being think disciplined a isn't a bad thing, no. is it? No. I've put tights on before, to be fair. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> she emailed us and said, right, you know, let us know what you want to happen. So I'm like, right, OK, I'll do a spreadsheet. <laughs> I do have a spreadsheet for my weekends. <laughs> yeah. And she emailed back and she was like, oh, you can tell you're in the army. And I thought, oh, I've overdone it, haven't I? You need to know what's going on. Oh, dear. <laughs> but you're a girl. That is correct. And that should not be a shock to anyone. I see myself as a soldier, first and foremost. I, some of the best like, engineers I work with have been girls. Not as a female soldier. People don't expect our girls to be engineers. Oh, you must all be lesbians or, or you know, you've, all, <laughs> you've got long hair, I don't understand, but you're in the army. It is more difficult sometimes because in training, the women proportionately are carrying more than the men. The army's just put exercise, it's Ice Maiden, mm. and it's six. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. six women who, who crossed the Antarctic. I don't see a problem. If you can do the job as well as a guy, then crack on. Oh my God, is it like the movies? Uh, no. Yeah. Is it like Call of Duty and you run around and you... In the movies, they don't show someone you don't show you get up in the morning and the first thing you see is your mate's arse crack. It's not like the movies for you. Definitely not. Oh, like not man. for me, sorry. No, it's not the same. Oh, hairy, hairy blokes. And uh, <laughs> it's about you, Jake. Uh, <laughs> you almost go with stereotype bingo and you can tick them off. And you're like, that, that doesn't happen. You can see us like all running to like the air car with the Top Gun soundtrack like in the background. <laughs> you know, you've got your stereotypical drill sergeant who gets in your face and he yeah. shouts at you. Am I surrounded by Tom's, Tom Cruise lookalikes? No, I'm not. Do all the pilots think they're Tom Cruise? Yes, they do. <laughs> Maybe more like Jarhead than anything else. Have you seen that one where nothing yeah. happens and they're all just waiting? They probably cut out the movie, the cleaning toilets part. Yeah, you know, you don't film them ironing, you don't film them polishing their boots. At the moment, my weapon is my keyboard, unfortunately. Yeah, it all seems quite glamorous because it's on screen, but then they can step away, get their brow mops. That's not something that our guys can really do. Violence is not the answer. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Peace and love. No one wants to be waged in a war. I mean, in a perfect world, there wouldn't be any violence. Yeah. It's about being appropriate. And it's and got not to be done. not abusing the fact that you can use that force. You do get stared at for like, as though yeah. you've got a TV on your head or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, You're walking around backwards or something. You've painted a target on yourself nowadays, yeah. I think, if you go out in public in uniform. There was talk of, right, someone's organising a protest against it, and actually, you know, we need to make sure people are lining the route. There's one woman who is like so angry. She pulled her trousers down and pooed through the fence. And that kind of, that worries you because we're all just people at the end of the day as well, mm. to, you know, putting on a parade. That's how, like, she felt about... The military. Yeah, us. You know, they're building something yeah. or they're helping people whose houses in this country are flooded. The humanitarian aspects is actually the reason I joined the RAF. In the military, I, I, don't, I don't myself choose what country we're going to go to, you know, so that's usually by the government, you know, we, we voted for who they probably voted for, you know. Yeah, exactly, who the country voted for. It must have fucked you up. I don't think I am fucked up. They seem to think that we're taken to an underground bunker and the, you know, <laughs> the secret experiments are carried out on our heads and stuff. Things I've been exposed to has actually not messed me up and made me more rounded. In reality, I've probably developed in character more yeah. by being in the army. But for people that I've known that are like in the infantry, I think they do get 
tarnished more with the stigma. Some people have been away a lot and they will have seen some pretty nasty things. And at the time, you know, your training gets you through it, you're on autopilot, you're looking after your mates and, and you know, you're getting from A to B. And yeah, if anything, you probably talk to people more when yeah. you're away about your feelings. And I think you'd be abnormal if you came back from somewhere and you didn't have thoughts and feelings about that.